Hey guys, this is Sports with Dylan. I should start this video off with a warning. This is not exactly my field of expertise, despite it still being sports, but this video has been requested to me. So after about half an hour of research, I think I more or less know what is going on, but I might make a small error in this video and I apologize if I do, and feel free to correct me in the comments section if you find out an error that I do make. Big news coming out of the National Lacrosse League today. The star Vancouver Warriors forward, Mitch Jones, has been traded to the Philadelphia Wings. I feel bad for the city of Vancouver. Can't they have one good professional sports team right now? But no, the NLL season just started and yet the Vancouver Warriors are already one and six, which means that that's when you're starting to look at trading away some players. Just look at the Canucks, they just trade away Bo Horvat. Although I would have waited a bit longer if I'm the Warriors because you're only seven games into the season. Things can turn around for you. So even if it's not looking great now, I would have waited a bit longer to see if this team can turn around and maybe crack the playoffs before you go away and start trading away your best players. But Miss Jones is 31 and he's a top point scorer right now, but you don't know. He might have a down season because the rest of the team isn't supporting him, which means that on the other hand, it does kind of make sense just to trade away your best players already. So before people see if they're bad or not, you get a first round pick and you can start to rebuild. In exchange, the Wings gave up a first round pick, a 2023 first round pick, a 2024 second round pick, and defenseman Steph Charbonneau. Steph Charbonneau is a solid defenseman, but I don't think he's gonna make that big of an impact in Vancouver, and I don't think they're gonna miss him a ton in Philadelphia. They have enough of a defense that they don't especially need. The first round pick is great for Vancouver, as I mentioned, because now they'll have two first round picks. They're able to rebuild. They're able to get new starts. In a couple of years, they should be back in the playoffs. And the second round pick is the same deal. You're getting another pick. In exchange, the Wings get a star player. The one thing that surprises me is that it's the Wings of all teams making this trade. They are two and four right now. So not exactly the best team in the league. So they were expected to be better, and I suspect what they're thinking is that with the addition of Miss Jones, this team will rock it up and be quite a bit better and probably be able to crack the playoffs. But I'm not sold. If you're 2-4 and four at the start of the season, normally that's when you start trading players away, not when you start trading for players. But obviously, just like the Bo Horvat rumors are already popping up again, I'm just throwing it out there. Since the deadline is in mid-March, it's possible that the F Wings will give it a shot with Miss Jones. And if they still are doing terribly, they can trade him again. I still wouldn't do that. I still think that's a bad idea to give up a first-round pick for a guy that you're going to trade away two months later. But it's entirely possible that there are plenty of other teams that could be looking into trading for Miss Jones. But the Wings will have a ways to go if they do want to crack the playoffs because they're currently sixth in a division of eight. Now, Albany is tied with them in wins. They just have one less game played, hence why they have less losses. So it shouldn't be that hard for Philadelphia to pass Albany. But after that, you've got some tough competition with Toronto and Halifax both coming in with four and five wins respectively. And then you've got Buffalo and Rochester, the two New York teams, funny enough, that are on fire this year. Both of them with six wins, one six and one, one six and two. So the Wings are going to have a tough time coming off a two and four start and trying to compete with Buffalo and Rochester. But it's entirely possible that this Mitch Jones trade was all they needed. And now with the help of Vancouver's former top scorer, they will be able to make the playoffs. But we'll have to see. For now, thanks for watching.